Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Uh, I just wanted to pop in here and say hi to everybody. It's been a while. Um, I just got back from Topeka, Kansas not too long ago. Uh, I had to go through a... Uh, well, I didn't have to go through, but I went through a um, mental health rehab. Um, they had a whole bunch of... Uh, classes that I would go to. Um, the nutrition part was a big um, section of the classes. Um, there was a lot to do with uh, inflammation of the brain. Um, uh, I've been told, you know, stay away from white foods, so like your grain sugars. Um, rice, uh, potatoes, um, stuff like that, you know, I was told to stay away from that, but I never t was told why, and these classes, uh, they, they, uh, explained it a lot better, um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, a lot to do with omega-3s and omega-6s, so, they told me to eat a lot of uh, ocean, uh, uh, like fish and uh, salmon and tuna, uh, stuff like that. They said if it comes from a mother or the earth, eat that instead of processed foods and processed stuff like that. So, um, yeah. And then, uh, the other classes were, um, T, uh, TLC, Therapeutic Lifestyle Changes, um, kind of gave me a little refresher on, you know, like, healthy things I could do, um, yeah, just more healthy, um, instead of uh, the unhealthy habits of like isolation and uh, just binge watching TV and stuff like that. Um, they, yeah, they, they taught us different um, things to try. So uh, a lot of them, a lot of the ideas I do, but I tend to overdo it, so, um, it was, uh, peer support, um, he gave us a, I don't think I have it handy, but they gave us a big calendar, and you had to, like, write out your week, so, like, it was broken down into hour segments, and then you write what, each hour, what you're gonna do, and so, like, set a schedule. So, to keep me from binge watching or, you know, whatever. So, I have to set a timer. And then, I got this new uh, alarm. And, ooh, and then this thing here. So... They sent me that to keep me on schedule with my meds because what was happening is I was taking every pill at night right before bed and then during the day for pain I would just you know take one and then write it down on a sheet of paper and so I knew when I took it last and then I could count eight hours six hours four hours whatever it would be and, um, like, different meds had different time things. So, they gave me this to kind of help me, um, separate them out, eat, um, for, like, time limits and stuff. So, this thing has, well, I guess I can show you the back. It has these four different, um, it kind of shows you right here. Alarm one, two, and three. Or I have one, two, and four. So 
Um, that way I can take it morning, 2 o'clock, and then 9 o'clock. So, yeah. They they did a whole bunch of cool things. Um, let's see here. Oops, sorry about that. But they cut me these things so I can stick them down here. And they're... like more friction so that when I'm painting oh that's another thing I can show you I got a new drafting table and then I got my this uh, right here this <laughs> yeah this right here this white box that's um a light box and uh, it's a full spectrum light box so like for people with seasonal depression, um, they can use it um, to mimic some sunlight. And with my diagnosis, is I use it to like. I guess you're supposed to get like thirty minutes of sunlight each day, so this is supposed to mimic the sunlight when it's cloudy out or at night time and they told me to use it three hours before bed so that way my I guess the sensors in your eye register that um, and then you're supposed to uh, does a lot of stuff with the brain and get you ready for bed so that's what I've been doing um, I guess I can show you Almost lost it. So. There's what I've been working on. It's a uh, all colored pencil. Uh, I still got a ways to go. I'm about half done. I started it with shortly after. I started that shortly after my father's, uh, they called it Celebration of Life. He uh, was cremated, so we didn't have like a, a, a graveside funeral or nothing like that. But they had tables of pictures from like when he was a little bitty kid all the way up to, you know, kind of the last moments and stuff. And then they had a, uh, a frame. And it had his glasses inside of it. And it said, Grandpa's always watching. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So I suppose my little half-brother or half-sister, one of the two, are probably going to get that um, for their kids' room or something, maybe. I'm not sure. But, yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, a bunch of family showed up and... Yeah, it was it was a nice little turnout. Um, I I did kind of break down a little bit um, talking with his uh, current wife, and yeah, it was it was it went okay, I suppose. So um, let's see what else can I talk about. Um, oh. Uh, the flag on my file for the VA, I, shortly before I left for Topeka, I did find out what it says, <laughs> and it says, he records his sessions, and he is quick to anger, which I explained everything to some of the people down there in Kansas, and they validated what I was, you know, why I was frustrated, why I was, you know, quick to anger is because I wasn't getting the care I needed. So, yeah, I'm going back for a cognitive CP uh, pop-up. Let's see. Um, uh, 
cognitive processing therapy. And it's supposed to help me, I guess, change my beliefs. I, I'm not, yeah, it, it, I guess that's what it is. It, it changes your beliefs on, like, you know, um, when some people are, um, have survivor's guilt or, you know, something like that, that kind of belief, they're going to, you know, help you understand that that's a, a, um, stuck point or a schema, something that you see the world, you know, like a filter that you see the world through. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm going to go back to Topeka and, uh, deal with that, so, um, uh, I, I'm still gonna figure out transportation, which is probably till the last minute, I, I won't know for exact, because even going down there, he was supposed to be here at 10, and he didn't get here until like 11, 11.30, something like that, so, yeah, it, 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 it's hit or miss. Um, if the weather's bad, you know, because winter's coming. So, you know, it, it, he could be hours late or day, a day late, you know, if he can't get out on the roads, if the roads are shut down or whatever. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to be going here shortly. I'm, just not sure when so um let's see what else um yeah i suppose that's pretty much it um i guess i'll make this a really short video uh, if you um uh, have more questions or you want me to update you on anything, uh, just let me know in the comment section or the uh, uh, chat here, and I'll try and answer it. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks, everybody. Love you. Peace and love.